What is up, everybody? Welcome to This Week in Blade. It's your boy. Fucking Coupon Thompson. You say Coupon Thompson? Yvonne Thompson. Oh, <laughs> they say Coupon Thompson. I was like, damn it, Austin. Here's Prado with a top sole that's not discounted even a little. We're talking blading here every single week, so if you're new to this series, consider subscribing and following. Also, like this video and share it with the homies because it'd be nice. That's it, just nice. Let's do products like you didn't already know. Them Skates dropped a new old boot on the gram this week and it has had one rollerblading news show host drooling ever since the pictures came out. Last night was the wettest of dreams. The Them Skates Communit E 908 Gray Skates is the newest skate ready for pre-order. And the colorway just makes me think that dreams really do come true. Like everything's gonna be okay. Okay, let me, let me chill. I'm putting way too much on this. The new 908 comes with a new colorway to the Them Liner. Gray Them Frames only found on this skate. And the new Communit E wheels just set this whole thing off. Pre-orders are happening now with order shipping at the end of February. Them also announced that the first initiative of the Community E funds and products are gonna be focused on the boys out in Nigeria, which is really dope and I hope they keep doing stuff like this to help fellow bladers in the future. If you have something negative to say about them helping people out where they can, just know that I hate you. Make sure you check these things out. Okay, I can go back to being way too hyped about these. Speaking of gray skates, cause I guess that's the color of the year. I looked it up when I was writing this. It is. Rosie's announced and dropped a skate this week. And that's the kind of shit that we need. No more of this announce one week and drop the next week and fucking up my media circuits. You know, when it rains, it pours. And in this case, it's gonna pour boots. Sorry, I just thought about what that would look like and how dangerous it would be if it was just raining skates. The Kamuri Gray, which is the second pro fifth element for your boy, Guto Guto. And it's just as fire as the first one. Maybe more, a tiny bit more. The gray boot colorway goes with any style, and I know we just talked about how Bobby hates black and white skates, but these are gray, so we should be okay. Congratulations, Yuto, for real. Can you please, for the promo edit, please, just for me, make Mortal Kombat references? I'll hand you the pieces that you need. Just hit me up, I got you. Pre-orders for these bad boys are happening now, and they ship at the end of March. I feel like if you collect all the gray skates this year, you should get a prize. What would that even be? Debt? So in 2021, China Wirestall is getting all that she deserves. And I hope that there's more in the future. We already talked about how she's writing for Rollerbender, which is still a thing, it's still happening. She has a pro clothing line, pro drip, but she's also writing for Chroma Wheels and they're putting out a pro wheel for her. You just, you just love to see it. China joined Stefan Brando as the second person to get a signature product from the wheel brand. And this light blue colorway is just amazing. Beautiful, delicious even. Designed by Jeremy Bridal, she has a graphic for her dog on the wheel, which is so much better than that owl that haunts my dream still. It's a 5888 and is available now. They have a bundle with stickers and a t-shirt. They even have a hoodie. Make sure you check this out and support the goat for real, for real. Pro drip, man. You gotta love it. All right, are you excited about the new Thems or the new Rosies? Let me know in the comments. I'm gonna need to get my feet on a set of those new China wheels my switch up game is gonna increase 20 points. All right, that's it for products, let's do wheels and deals. I'm acting all nonchalant, but I'm screaming on the inside. Joe Zink, the channel grind man of the decade has done something none of us really saw coming. He's left remedies and not just them, sunshine as a whole. No more ground control, no more rain, no more nothing. Ain't no sunshine when he's gone. Joe took to his IG story this week and announced the big move and your boy had to go and check in on him, okay? Make sure everything was okay. He said that there's no bitterness between him and the distribution, but he's excited for the future of his skating career. And that's all he gave me, and that's all I'ma take. Joe kills literally everything. So there's no doubt in my mind that he's already on the new team, but we'll wait for the announcement. And when I know, y'all know the deal. I'll let you know. 
Where do you think Joe's gonna go? I have no idea. I did see him writing Rosie's in one of his posts a little while ago. And Niels did jump ship from Remedies to Rosie. I'm not gonna put out any lies and slander, so let me know your predictions in the comment of this video. Okay, that's gonna do it for Wheels and Deals. Let's talk about these videos. Okay, first and foremost, Jeremy Soderberg is better than you and has been since his hair was longer than your list of complaints about him, okay? We good on that? Cool, let's move on to the next story. Nah, but Jeremy Soderberg dropped the fire edit of the week. I'm completely biased and I completely don't care. Fresh off his up to no good warm up section, he gives us more heat in these streets. From the tricks to the fits, the whole edit is a banger. Put together by Gregory Preston, the first half is Germ. The second half is the family. And I like how it was just one session and everyone clipped up. That's what this gang shit is all about. I'm trying to tell y'all. Make sure you check this edit out and hit up your favorite skate shop for a pair of these wheels, for real. Damn it, that edit was dope. The tall boys have been slow dripping their video always next time on YouTube. And next up is Matt Silcox and Steph Ledger, and it's a heater for real. Matt's landing tricks like, yeah, I don't know how it happened either. And I'm kind of here for it. Like, I like it. Like, I'm saying I enjoy it. I'm about to get in trouble for saying that. Already aware. Steph is lacing tricks like, yeah, that spot deserved that trick. You took it out of my mind and made it reality. Thank you. This edit has some really creative skating, so when you get a chance, check it out. It's worth it. Picaco Garcia gave us two minutes for watermelon, and it's just good. There's just good skating in it. Stasi as hell, too. The whole crew in Barso is putting in work, and I'm fucking here for it, man. I still want to go to every one of these spots and just hit soul grinds. That's it. That's all I have to offer. I'm sorry it's not more. This high five could have been cut out, though. Just saying. Matthew has some of the first clips on the Loco Aeon 60, which are still attractive and still available, by the way. He's skating his pandemic setup and the first trick caught my eye. So we're throwing that shit in here. The more I watch these pandemic edits, the more I'm realizing that I am lacking in the pandemic department. I mean, I have a box, but I need at least a rail and one more box to make my shit somewhat complete. I'm trying to have a pandemic skate park like Sean Smith. Make sure you check this edit out. It's real quick, but it's real dope. Head on skate tapped us into the sip zip sessions. Ooh, that's a hard one to say. Sip zip, sip zip sessions. We're just gonna go with it like that. At a skate park that just looks amazing. Also, who's the little homie Adam? He's dope. Make him a profile or six. I just, I just wanna see what he's got. This edit is just a fun time with fun people and will possibly give you ideas for tricks you forgot about. Head on skate always has really cool sessions though. I wanna hang out with those guys. I honestly just want to leave the country at this point. All right, that's gonna do it for videos. Let's get social before I forget. I could never. I want to start this section off with something that kind of sucks. K Luz, you know that woman that you voted for Breakout's Female Skater of the Year on BMAG? Plug. Well, she's also a pretty amazing artist, but the city of Lawndale blocked the shit out of her next piece. Kay was painting a mural of Kobe and his daughter for the anniversary of their deaths on a building where she had the permission to do so. And the city of Lawndale, where she was painting the mural, ordered her to stop, saying that the city doesn't allow murals and the business could be fined or shut down because of this, which fucking sucks. And we know that this is some Becky or Karen calling this in because she herself has no artistic ability. I can't do it, why should she be able to? Because it's called Skittles, Susan. Skills, Skittles means skills. What are you, from Idaho? Fox LA actually covered this story. I'll link to that in the description. But the shit is whack. If you wanna support Kay's art as much as you support her skating, the link to her artist page is gonna be in the description as well. Hopefully we can see this mural go up in a city where they're not jealous of talented folks. 
Okay, let's brighten this thing up. Sven, can you please hit us with a roundabout to Aliyut Fish, please? To this day, I have no idea how you have knees or how they work. Montre Livingston is so good at blading that he needed a new challenge. So he put on quads and he's about to take that shit too. He's been working on a quad edit, but he had to share this one on the blading gram. And I'm glad he did because the world needs to see it. And speaking of Montre, because I never get tired of doing that, he found a new park by his house and put up some clips for the new Viberlux drop. And man, that had his fire. Make sure you check out these clips as well. And man, that park is wild. You can legit fall off. Jamie has some heaters on the gram this week in the most tropical place most Americans can think of because most of us ain't been nowhere. My man's two weeks in Hawaii edit hit the gram this week and he's short in stature, but goddamn seven foot 10 beast in the blades. This negative Macchio to fish will solidify that when you see it. You'll be like, damn, Biz was right. I fucking doubted him. I should never do that again. Make sure you check these out because they're fire and I'm not gonna let you get away with that Sierra song. I'm gonna let it slide for now because we in a public sphere, but I'm gonna talk to you about that later. Joe Jimenez has some sweet, sweet moves in the Razor's Graphite Colt this week. And seriously, gray is the color of 2021. We had a bleak year last year, so this just makes sense. Some of these clips I was there for, and in the time it took me to not land my trick, this man's whole section was damn near finished. Honestly, he makes that skate look good. Him and Jordan Williams. Not me, because I have taste, but generally. We're gonna end this section off with Joe giving us a new way to slide into our potential Bay's DMs. I'm a little hurt that you were in the Bay Area and didn't hit your boy up, but I'll get over it. Maybe, probably not at all. She called me Mr. Bombastic, really fantastic. Put me on me box, she says I'm Mr. Rule. Okay, I think that's gonna do it for this week in Blade. Make sure you like this video and comment your favorite news below. As always, make sure you're following BlairUnion.com to keep up to date with everything happening in the blading world. They also have a Patreon, so if you want to support them or this show directly, hit that link in the description. Do it. You can do it. They have tiers from a dollar to two hundred dollars. We just need a dollar. That just sounded desperate. I shouldn't have done that. Oh well, it's out there in the world. Also, make sure you're following my link tree to get all the twib updates, skating, and a bunch of other crap. Like so much. For this week's Ender, here's Nick Lomax serving us up a tea kettle. It's been a while since Nick's closed the show. It's also been a while since I've seen a tea kettle look so damn good.